guess what? Y'all about to find out who he is very soon and very shortly. All right? Luke chapter 21, verse 9. It says, But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Yeah, who the world calls Jesus Christ? He say, even when you hear these commotions, all right, these wars and these rumors of wars, you know, the end is not by and by. The end is not yet. The time has not come yet. The time has not come yet. For all you so-called Christians, all you people so-called read the Bible, why not look at Matthew the 10th chapter? Or why not look at Matthew the 24th chapter? All right? All of those things which the Messiah talked about is going on right now. Can't you see? Luke 21 and 9, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Luke 21 and 10, then said he unto them, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Is not Russia at odds with America right now? Is not North Korea at odds with America right now? Okay, is not China at war at, or at odds with America right now? Come on, bro, it's right, it's right here in your fucking face, man. A bunch of dumb niggas with smartphones. What the hell are you, what the hell are you people even doing in your free time? Goodness fucking grief, bro. And it's hilarious too because some of y'all actually look at the news. But y'all don't want to say nothing because it's too harsh or it's too much or hate speech and, and what the hell is it, man? Political correction. What the hell do you people have been fucking doing in your free time, man? You women sitting in the house playing with your clique or getting smashed out by like four or five damn dudes? You do sit in the house playing with your damn penises, man? Okay, smoking big fat ass blunts? What the hell are you guys doing in your free time, in your leisure time, man? But still always want to say, we need to have a conversation. We need to talk about it. Ah! Ah! ah. Why is my child reading pornography in, in, in elementary school or in middle school or whatever the hell, man? Why are they normalizing pedophilia and then calling them, what is it, MAPs? Minor attracted persons? What the hell is up with that, man? Y'all always talk about we need to have the conversation. Well, shit, let's fucking talk about it. Okay? You people are in total darkness, man. You love being blinded, man. You love getting that 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 deep stroke by this society. You know, you love being blinded by this society. You love the entertainment. You love the distraction. You hate the truth. The Apostle Paul said it perfectly. Galatians 4 and 16. Am I now therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Luke 21 and 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. All right, so there you go, man. Earthquakes and things of that nature in diverse places, man. All of these things created for vengeance. All these earthquakes and these volcano eruptions and these floods, all of those things was created solely for the purpose of vengeance. Whether you want to believe it or not, Because there's gonna time, there's gonna come a time where you people are gonna learn, man. All right. You're gonna see the fruit. You're gonna see the error of your ways. 
you know? All of us gotta sit before the judgment seat of who the world calls Jesus Christ, man. All of us must sit before the judgment seat of who the world calls Jesus Christ, man. Who is a dark-skinned man with white woolly hair, which we have not been taught about from our youth. All right? All of us are about to sit before the judgment seat in the throne before him. You know? Let me see what else I got, man. But yeah, 800,000 North Koreans just joined the North Korean army, man. All right, these North Koreans, these Kim Jong-un and his sister, both of those warmongers, they're, but hey, they're, they're ready to get busy on the American people. But are you American people ready for that? Are you ready for martial law and these other, these people of these other nations coming over to the US, okay? Kicking down your doors, stealing your, your, your wherewithal, okay, your food, your commodities, ravishing your women, taking away your children, throwing y'all in concentration camps. Are you ready? Are you ready for that? It's rhetorical, but those these are things that we have to be asking ourselves, man. Alright? Let me see, this is on pbsorg.cdn. I don't know, it looked like the link is too long, so I ain't even gonna go into all of that. But you know, brothers and sisters, y'all can look it up for yourselves. It says, Kim Jong-un's sister warns North Korea is ready to act against US South Korea, okay? Yeah, Kim Jong-un's sister said, that North Korea is ready to act against the U.S., man. Okay? It says, Seoul, South Korea, AP, the influential sister of North Korea's leader, warned Tuesday that her country is ready to take quick, overwhelming action against the United States and South Korea. A day after the U.S. flew a nuclear-capable B-52 bomber in a demonstration of strength against the North. Huh, see, see look, look at that, man. There you go. All right? And all of this ties in with biblical prophecy. All of this ties in with biblical prophecy, man. Let me go ahead and get that in the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 9. It says, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war, wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near, let them come up, okay? The scriptures say, Prepare ye, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Yeah, these other nations was ready to go to war, all right, with America. You know, the greatest country in the world. <laughs> You know? What is it? Land of the free, home of the brave? Some shit like that. <laughs> it says, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Okay? So what? All of you heathen, you know, y'all are getting enticed to come against America, to come against the U.S. Which you should be. Yeah, y'all supposed to be getting enticed to do that. The scriptures tell you to do so. Joel 3 and 10, it says, Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Yeah. It says, Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Talking about the farming equipment. Okay. You got these countries who is most famous for their agriculture and things of that nature, okay? Starting to pick up military uh, uh, arms and things of that nature, all right? They're starting to pick up gun, uh, guns, you know? 
They're starting to make bombs. They're starting to make intercontinental ballistic missiles. They start to do all of these things because they want to see America fall and they want to be in rulership. All right? It says, let the weak say I am strong. Yeah, all these other nations who was once weak to America, now they're, now they're starting to say they got the juice and that they are strong now. Because they're tired of America and America's philosophy, man. Okay? They're tired of these over 700 U.S. military bases in their nations and in their countries and in their hometowns and so on and so forth. They're tired of these, these American men ravishing their women and so on and so forth. These other nations is tired of America and this bullshit, man. You know? Come up with that damn savior mentality. All right? Joel 3 and 11, it says, Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Then the cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Yeah, the Lord is telling you, heathen, you other nations. All right? Gather yourselves together. You know? Get excited, get ready for this war. Assemble yourselves together for this war, man. Okay? As a matter of fact, hold up, let me pull that too. I think I got it as a precept, but I'm just going to go ahead and pull it now because I feel like it's more appropriate. This is the book. Let me see. Yep, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13. This whole chapter is actually heavy, too. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 4. I'm going to just get to the point. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together, the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, mustereth the host of the battle. Okay? The scriptures say the, the Lord of hosts, the heavenly father of hosts, which the word host means armies, it says he mustereth the host of the battle. Okay? So I want to go into that word muster real quick. Muster. All right, so this is the Google definition for the word muster. It says assemble troops in parentheses, especially for inspection or in preparation for battle. Okay, so that's the word muster on the Google definition, all right? So the word muster means to appoint in preparation for a battle, which is going on right now. That's why you got these other nations, okay? The Chinese, the Koreans, all right? Iraq, Iran, getting themselves and preparing themselves for battle because they know it's about to take place. It's in their spirits to do so. World War III is on its way, people. Okay? But what? We, we, gotta, we gotta go through many other things first, man. All right, we gotta, we gotta go through the martial law. We gotta go through the hour of the Revelation 13 and 16 through 18. You know? That, uh, that, that device that Esau Edom wants to implant inside of us. We gotta go, we gotta suffer many things, man. All right? Just to prove that, let me get this in the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 30, verse 6, it says, Ask ye now, and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, <laughs> as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Yeah. I'm going to read it again. It says, ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Yeah. Have you ever seen a man have a, have a baby? You ever seen a man in labor? <laughs> okay. Because no such thing has been done on the earth 
But what? This is talking about how afraid and how scared these so-called men are going to be in a time of martial law, which is upon us. You know? You got all these banks having financial problems, all right? These banks taking money from the, uh, from the customers and things of that nature. This ain't happening for no reason, man. This is not happening for absolutely no reason, man. All right? They're trying to condition you people even further into, into agreeing to the, the central banking digital currency, man. All right? They want to take the money you got and turn it into a cryptocurrency. And all of these other things, man. All right? Because America is trillions and trillions of dollars in debt. Ain't no coming back from that. You know? There's absolutely no coming back from that. All right? Jeremiah 30 and 6 says, Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Yeah, once again, a lot of these mighty men. A lot of you, a lot of you are, uh, uh, you, you big boys and bad boys, okay? A lot of these mighty men are about to be terrified and scared shitless, man. All right? In Jeremiah 30 and 7, it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Yeah, that's the point, man. We coming into the time, we coming into the hour of Jacob's trouble. Jacob representing the house of Israel. Jacob representing the house of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans scattered abroad. You know? Talking about us. We're gonna be the only, we're, we're the ones, okay, only allowed to what, repent. We're the only ones allowed to be saved. Okay, we're the only ones allowed to sin. All right, we're the only ones allowed to, you know, well, I said repent, but convert, same thing. All right, we're the only ones out, out, out here allowed to prophesy. And that's why what? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we need to be seeking our salvation, which is in who the world calls Jesus Christ. All right? The Lord is coming back for his people, man. But there are many things that we got to suffer, just like who the world called Jesus Christ did. He suffered the humiliation, you know? He suffered the persecution. Okay? He suffered the crucifixion from his own people and the Romans. He suffered all of those things. And he even said that he was just like, the, the, the servant is not greater than his Lord, man. So the, who the hell are we to think that we're not going to do this, uh, go through the same exact thing? You know? But the scriptures say what? He that endureth until the end, the same shall be saved, man. All right? But that was the point on that. Let me get this in the book of 2nd Ezra. This is the book of 2nd Ezra. Chapter 15. <coughs> excuse me. 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. It says, Behold, Speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Yeah, because that's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to speak in, into the ears of my people the words of prophecy, man. All right? Which the word prophecy means to say or to speak beforehand. So we got to let you know the destruction that's coming before it actually comes. You know? And the Heavenly Father has always operated that way. Always. All right. 
I'm talking about this, this, this World War III, this martial law that's coming, okay? This karagma, this M-A-R-K that's coming, this is gonna be the biggest I told you so, all right? In, our, in the whole entire existence of humanity, man. All right? Because all of this is coming. You know? We have always been living in the time of prophecy, man. All right? Matter of fact, let me pull this real quick. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 19. Because the scriptures say what? Speaking to the ears of my people, the words of prophecy, right? Jeremiah 4, 19, it says, My vows, my vows, I am pained at my very heart. My heart maketh the noise in me. I cannot hold my peace. Because thou hast heard, O oh my soul, the sound of the trumpet, the alarm of war. All right? And that's exactly, okay, what the trumpet, and that's exactly what prophecy is, man. The alarm of war, man. You know? We're supposed to be ringing the alarm. Like that song by Tanner Saul. I think I said it last week, but fuck it. Ring the alarm. <laughs> you know? We gotta be ringing that alarm, man. We gotta be blowing the trumpet for our people. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans because a lot of y'all don't know better. And even the ones that, knew, that do know better, a lot of y'all don't wanna repent. And that's a damn shame, man. Because the Lord loves you and he wants you to repent. He don't want nothing for you but to repent. In so many words, okay? But a lot of y'all are not gonna repent, man. That's why he gotta destroy y'all's asses. And rightfully so, because man, look, look, look at the state of our people today. Among the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, from the church houses, okay? To these so-called celebrities, all right? In your own households and things of that nature. Look, look at the state of our people, man. It ain't right. And a lot of a lot of us, a lot of us ain't trying to get right either. And that's a damn shame, man. All right. But that was the point on that. Going back to Second Ezra 15 and 1, I'll read it again. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, save the Lord. Yeah, just like he told the prophet Jeremiah. He said, I'm going to put my words in your mouth. All right? Meaning what? I'm going to give you the understanding, okay, of me, of the scriptures, of the words that you're going to proclaim to your people and all people. Second Edges 15 and 2. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Ah, there you go. All right, cause them to be written in paper for their faith, uh, faithful and true. So that goes out to all you people who say, oh, well, man wrote the Bible. Yes, you're absolutely right. Man did write the Bible. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Man did write the Bible. Okay? And you had certain prophets that had scribes that wrote down their thoughts and that wrote down prophecies and things of that nature, man. Okay? All of which was ordained by the Heavenly Father. You know? Second Edges 15 and 3. It says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Yeah, talking about the wicked of our own people, man. The Lord said, Don't be troubled by these niggas, man. All right? Don't worry about these clowns who say that, ah, you out there, you, you homeless, you just mad because ah, 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 so on and so forth. America's always going to be the greatest country. You, you, uh, you, you need to be more open-minded because you too closed-minded. And all this other damn nonsense, man. Ah, 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 I bet you don't even know your own astrology. And, all this, and, and whatever type of manner of wickedness our people, you know, are into, man. Okay? Our only job is to come out here and tell you people 
that World War III is upon us, man. All right? Second Edges 15 and 3, it says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity, all right, which the word incredulity means unbelief. Okay? Which, which a lot of our people, that, that is what they imagine against us. They, they, they don't believe the Heavenly Father, man. You know? Because it's not us that they got beef with. It's the Heavenly Father, man. All right? So when you come up and you scoff and you scorn and you ignore the prophets, you ain't doing it to the prophets. You're doing it to the Heavenly Father. And the prophets, what? We, we taking notes, man. What is it? That anime, uh, what is it? Yu Yu Hakusho? All right? The spiritual investigators and so on and so forth. All right? In a sense, yeah, we, we, are, we are down here investigating, okay? And, and taking notes about what's going on in this wicked ass place today, man. Within our own lives and, 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 and on the outside as well, man. Observe you people with all the harassment. All right? We're observing everything, man. Okay? But that's the thing with a lot of our people, man. They, they, they don't believe, man. A lot of our people, they have faith, but they're putting it in the wrong place. All right? That's why the scriptures say what? I bear the record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. You know? This is the book of Romans chapter 3 verse 3. It says, for what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? <laughs> yeah. The scriptures say, for what if some did not believe, man? So it's like, what? So, so what if you, some of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans don't believe on the words of the Heavenly Father by way of the prophets? So what, man? Does that mean the prophecies is not going to come to pass? Let's see what the scriptures say. Romans 3 and 4. God forbid. That means hell no. It says, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Yeah, the scriptures say, let the most high be true, but every man a liar. Alright? Because man will let you down. Alright? Man will let you down each and every single time, man. You know? Look at these damn celebrities, man. You still got some of these women out here looking up to the Beyonce's. Who is it? Nicki Minaj. The Cardi B's. And so on and so forth. Still looking up to them. You still got some of our men still looking up to the Jay-Z's. All right? Even some of these damn uh, Manosphere guys, man. Like the Andrew Tates. Okay? The Austin Dunhams, the Stephens Colds. Our people still idolizing and worshiping these people who are not, who are not people of the Lord, man. You know? Not saying that I am one, but I'm doing the work. Okay? I'm only called, man. All right? But you got a, you got a lot of our people heavy, uh, heavy into this damn idolatry, man. Okay? Worshiping gods that are no gods. All right? Going after, going after leaders, uh, the leaders of our people that worship Satan rather than the Most High. All right? But the scriptures say what? Romans 3 and 4, I'll just read it again. It says, God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sins, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. All right? Because what? That's what we're looking for, man. We're looking to be justified in our sins, man. That we believed on the word of the Most High that we believed on the word of the prophets. You know, by reason of the Most High. All right? But going back to 2nd Ezra chapter 15.
I'll read verse 3 again. Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 3, it says, Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Yeah, the, the scriptures talk about making our foreheads, uh, how the Mosai is going to make our foreheads harder than their foreheads, man. All right, our foreheads is as is, is hard as uh, 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 flint. 